Welcome again. I'm Bob Calvert, your host, still here in Panjir Province, Afghanistan. And we've just talked on TalkingWithHarris.com with uh, the Afghan National Army Colonel Rajab Khan. And um, we're outside the Operational Coordination Center, Provisional Office here building, the OCCP. And I'm here with Sergeant First Class Thomas Charnley. Welcome, sir, to Talking With Heroes. How you doing? My name is Sergeant First Class Thomas Charnley with the Vermont Army National Guard, uh, 86 IBCT. I, uh, part of the Parwan, uh, Panchir OCCP up here in Panchir Province, and I come from Moncton, Vermont. Okay, and how long have you served? Uh, 25 years or so. I'd have okay. to look at my LES to make sure. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you very we, much. We won't have you look at your LNS. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time. <laughs> um, so, and you're where, where you are from in Vermont now? I'm from uh, Moncton, Vermont, uh, okay. northern Addison County. You got a wife and three kids sitting back there, and uh, I'd like to say hello to my wife. Uh, I'll be home soon, and tell my kids uh, do good in school because I'm coming home. So okay. hopefully that'll inspire them. Appreciate that. Uh, Talk a little bit about what you've been doing here with the uh, Panzer PRT. Well, uh, I've only been here about a week now, and um, before I came here, I was working at, at uh, for the brigade at, up at the division flagpole as a uh, uh, liaison. And I would sit in all day and listen to all the sig uh, significant actions that come in and, and never really heard anything about this province. And then when I got done up there, due to needs of the brigade, they moved me out here to take somebody else's place. And I can't believe how quiet it is out here and how, you know, how secure it is out, out here compared to all the other places that I hear. So it seems like a relatively good place to work. And um, since I've been here, mostly what I do is I come over to the OCCP here and I sit with the, uh, the Colonel, Colonel Rajab and Major Aziz, and my Major, Major Gardner, and we, we talk with the, uh, the Afghan National Police and the Afghan National Army, and we talk about the, the problems. We, we help them sort out the problems. We help them with their logistical problems for different uh, events that are happening in the local area. Most notably, it'll be uh, Election Day here shortly, and we're talking about security, polling security, and they seem to have a good grasp and a good handle on uh, the, you know, polling security and polling honesty too, and uh, Panchir seems to be one of the model model places in the entire country for, you know, how how to handle your local problems, and they, they do a very good job. Every time they have a small problem, they call us, tell us about it, and then they run right out there and do their best to solve it, without telling everybody you are going to do this. They say, well, how can we solve this problem? They seem to have a, a good grasp on on making things work for their own people. So it's which is nice because it's nice and peaceful out here for us. Exactly. Oh. Well, Second Lieutenant Jason Smith had been telling me about the work here that's being done and the, the Panjir province mm -hmm. and the security even before I went to Nuristan province, so I'm really glad to come out here. It actually has been really nice. For one, it's not as hot as where I was in Iraq. No, it's but not. two, I have not hardly ever had to wear body armor or Kevlar here, and that says a lot. I've never been able to do that anywhere else in Afghanistan, for that matter, in Iraq too. Yeah, well, it's nice not to have to wear it here because yeah. it's heavy, it's hot, and I only wear it when I torture myself on PT, so. Exactly. Okay. Was there anything you'd want to say to the American people about continuing to support the troops out here and the civilians, too, because we have a lot of civilians out here. We met Bill Martin, and I've seen many more on the FOB, FOB line. Uh, mostly, I'd like to say continue with your support. You don't have to believe in the whole war or policing action or whatever you want to call it. Just continue to support the troops and support what it is we are trying to do out here, which is help the local people help themselves in you know one province at a time. And if the Panchiris are up here and they're willing to do a good job taking care of themselves, they believe in if they make Panchir a secure place for everybody, then they're doing their part for Afghanistan to make you know the entire Afghanistan, Afghanistan secure one province at a time. So if they can do it, everybody else and uh, everybody else out there can do it. I mean, everybody in America has got to learn not to fall victim to what the media tells them they should think or what they should believe. You know, especially CNN and Fox, who are, you know, oh, I don't know if I can say anything like that. Any but, of the other networks. Man, yeah, they're a little, well, they're a little far one way or the other, telling everybody you got to believe this, you got to believe that. Well, you yeah, know, we hear one extreme and another, but, yeah. but basically what we're hearing here, what we heard in Iraq, is we're hearing from the troops boots on the ground, we're hearing from the civilians, and you're the ones that are actually in the middle of what's happening out here, and that's why I felt like it was important to come out here to get your stories 
back to the American people, and I know people want to hear this. Yeah, well, that's good. I'm glad they yeah. do, because if they listen to what we're saying, maybe the help will go in the right direction. And, and I'm, I'm proud to be out here. I'm, I'm, I believe in what I'm doing out here, and it seems to me that the Panchiri people out here believe in what we're doing. And yes. if, if it works here, it can work every place else around there. Yeah, that's been very clear, and especially now talking with the colonel. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. And uh, is there anybody time. else you want to say hi to back home? Yep, all my friends from the wrestling team back in uh, Mount Abe where my son wrestles, my daughter's soccer teams who were good about supporting me and send me all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, my oldest daughter who's starting college, member education, not boys. And my wife who supports me in everything I do. And the uh, Joint Operations Center in Vermont where I work, who uh, because of working there got me a nice job out here rather than staying at division for the rest of my life no offense to division yeah so. well i'm glad to have connected with you all i, I, I connected with a, I believe it was a sergeant first class two in uh, in uh, bagram with the vermont national guard and there was a really good uh, military support group in vermont the freedom fund i've heard of them yes yeah. so they've, they've done a lot of great work for the troops over the years so oh. great state I'd also like to say hi to the legions in Bristol and Virginia, too, where I go and have my weekly drink with everybody and all the guys. I sit down and we discuss how to change the world every Tuesday right. night at the Virginia Legion. We're talking <laughs> so, about the American Legion. Yes, sir, the American yeah. Legion. Great, great institution along with the VFW. You're with the VFW, too? Yes, sir. Good. Well, we're, I'm appealing to both right now to help get your stories out. Um, it just seems like a natural for veterans to want to help get your stories out, especially after they start watching these videos. And both of their magazines and publications have great, great leads on uh, veterans' benefits and vet veterans' uh, veterans' benefits. So. Sure. I remember yesterday when we first met, um, one of the first things you said to me was, is you need to contact the American Legion of VFW. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm going to talk to them about it when I get home. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Sergeant sir, for your First support. Class Charlie. Charlie. Yes. Appreciate it. Thank you for uh, helping get me over here today, and uh, it's a great interview with the Colonel. Very and good, you. sir. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Once again, folks, we're here, and if you look in a little bit of the background, we've talked about the, a little bit of the beauty of this country. Uh, you've seen a lot of it. I've got a lot of pictures uh, that will go up on Facebook. Um, the water looks calm right now, but some of the areas we've been to, it, it's been as wild uh, water as any, you know, rafting river I've seen. Yes, there's fish in there. And there's fish in there, there's hunting. It's a beautiful country. Well, folks, I am Bob Calvert, your host behind the camera on TalkingWithHeroes.com. I'm not sure if we'll have more interviews or not. This may be the last one I, um, here in Panjira province, and I'll be heading back to Bagram. And so as these videos come on YouTube and on Facebook, we're asking everybody listening, veterans, military support groups, military families, anybody who can agree to set aside politics and support our troops and who wants to know that there is progress happening both here in Afghanistan and as you've seen from our just recent trip to Iraq, in Iraq. Help us get the word out. Help us get these videos out to millions of people across America. I am Bob Calvert, your host on TalkingWithHeroes.com. God bless you. God bless America.